That's a new Twitter. Yeah, it's a new Twitter thing. Yeah. It's a new payment feature. Uh, they've announced. It's not rolled out yet, I don't think. Um, so it's called Super Followers. It will allow Twitter users to charge followers and give them access to extra content. That could be bonus tweets, uh, access to community group subscriptions, to a newsletter, or a badge indicating your support. Uh, in a mo mock-up screenshot over here on The Verge, uh, the user charges four ninety nine a month to receive a series of perks. Uh, so, I mean, this is the idea of your, I don't know, your, uh, he, he doesn't really charge for things, but I was thinking your, your Gary Vaynerchuks or, you know, the, the, the Twitter personalities that are given a lot of important information there. Like, I mean, I guess we could, you know, if we were awesome casts, you know, uh, uh, our awesome tips could be something that you pay for or something like that if we were thinking <laughs> if we were thinking along those lines but we like to give that kind of stuff for free uh but uh yeah kind of more specialized thing um if you have the audience on here uh, i i don't know katie do you do you see this um where do you see this kind of applying i mean if we, we were using it for awesome cast i could be like chilla tell me about your glow in the dark thing and you're like i gotta go you gotta go on twitter <laughs> yeah go on our <laughs> super followers and we'll uh, completely <laughs> tell you about it right yeah, but I think it's it's I, I think there's a place for it. It's it's everybody's talking about. It's the um oh jeez. Uh the where you pay money for a different level Patreon. There we go. We yeah. have those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 the um just a different version for Twitter contained within Twitter. Um, which it's weird for me to see Twitter doing things like this because mm -hmm. they're usually a little bit more I don't wanna be behind on things, but they've been kind of taking things and giving them a much more unique twist than let's say for example like instagram has been doing mm -hmm. of just kind of copying things but like this is a, this is I, I think it's i mean there's definitely a market for it especially because i think there are a lot more people moving back to twitter for whatever reason uh they're choosing and um there's money to be made yeah oh, go ahead, I, I think this is a, so i've heard that a lot of people have been leaving patreon because like they changed their, like some of the stuff you could do from keeping track of metrics and who's in which group. And I, I've seen a lot of people, or I've heard a lot of people starting to talk about leaving that platform that, um, that were, were pretty into the Patreon options. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm wondering if this is an answer back to that. Because, I mean, think about how do you find out about people's Patreon? It's typically... At least from what I've seen, it's typically Twitter or a podcast mm -hmm. like this, right? Mm -hmm. If you can keep them in the ecosystem and you can provide a better platform, I think it just makes sense. So I'll be interested to see how far they can take this and I, hopefully they don't give up on it too quickly. Like certainly if you're a Twitter person, right? If, if your audience is definitely there and you've built that audience over the time, like your answer to monetize that was – well, where can I take my Twitter followers that, you know, they will spend money, right? Is that pushing them to a podcast that you sell ads? Is that pushing them to a store that sells your product or book or, or seminar or webinar or something, 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 right? Whatever that looks like, you know. And now if, if that is an informational content thing, you can do it right there and don't even have to leave the platform and – Twitter has another way to hopefully because I, I don't think Twitter is terribly profitable still for all the uh, success that they've had. Um, like they, you know, they're not they're not scaled the same way that uh, Facebook is for as much as we talk about it. <laughs> and I think like Patreon, like you're seeing a lot of us are seeing like Patreon and OnlyFans and folks who mm -hmm. are making money using these platforms aren't able to promote their their particular um like their patron or their only fans on other social media platforms they're getting throttled and it's not going anywhere it's yeah, almost yeah. like um for example where we have all these networks like paramount paramount plus we have disney Dis, um discovery plus disney plus and like having to keep everything in these like instead of just like having cable where you're like this general fund rate you know where you make money across all platforms we're having to like make money on these separate individual social media platforms so that they're spreading their, our information and how, you know, are spreading our, our particular 
sites, yeah. you know, like on Twitter and stuff, instead of just like this big net of things, we're going to have to like, okay, I, this is my, where I make money from my Twitter followers This is where I make money from my Facebook followers. Yeah. And Instagram yeah. Followers. I mean, it, it, it is an interesting stretch because, and again, some people are in different boats where they're like, Hey, Twitter's where everybody's at. And how do you move that over? I mean, I know we, we struggle with on some of our uh, products that we do, um, you know, including the podcast, I guess, to a certain point of you know having it everywhere so everybody can find it because you know versus a hey everybody's over here well facebook would be it facebook's where the most of the people are for for this show and the and our wrestling mayhem show for sure but uh <laughs> what can we do with that i guess i don't know they say we can sell things now so i i don't know i guess i'll sell t-shirts it's <laughs> true there but um no it, it's interesting it's uh it, it's another option <laughs> that social media managers have to the the frustration of so our friends in social media management <laughs> um that i've been we've been talking with uh over the last week over this um and, and other platforms so um i don't know it's uh definitely worth looking at has anybody else been getting the um is it spaces that they have now hold on i'm sure somebody's i'm sure i'm sure either kit mueller or uh jason calacanis are using it right now as i speak uh, but up where your fleets are, you know, the Instagram story ripoff, um, which is a Snapchat ripoff. Uh, <laughs> there are, uh, I wish I had one up here so I could show you, but sometimes you'll see like two of those circles kind of bound together. For me, it's like a purple kind of thing. And you click on that and you join it and it's Clubhouse and Twitter, basically. And somebody's having a conversation and can invite people in and everything like that. I, it seems that they're only letting in like kind of high level Twitter users at this point. A few check marks out there that maybe have it, but I'm sure we're all going to have this eventually. And now you'll just have a little bit of variety at the top. I mean, do you, do you guys see um, that taking on more than Clubhouse, or is it just going to fizzle like Fleet seems to have? Jill, Katie. I don't, I don't know if I see it catching on because I don't feel like that's why I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Like that's not, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't go to Twitter for live type stuff. Mm. What would be interesting is if you could parlay it into an event. Like that's where like, I feel like, oh, hey, the pens are playing. I'll go see what's happening on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. hey, yeah. this award's going on. If mm -hmm. you tied that into high profile events that are getting Twitter coverage, I could see it catching on. I feel like I'm much more apt to go into Instagram or or go into TikTok and see, oh, someone's live and go watch. Um but even that's matter of happenstance. I I, I don't it's not my destination for that type of content. Mm -hmm. I feel like the algorithms between like Facebook, Instagram, you know, whatever else, Twitter's the only one that's the, as it's happening algorithm. So yeah. you're able to go and see, but that's where I go for things like that. Like as you know, if I'm watching something or if I want news on something, or if I want to know what's happening right now, that's when I would go to Twitter, but I don't, I don't mindlessly scroll videos as much on Twitter because that's what all the other ones right. are Right. If, 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 unless there's a, a Facebook group like thread for something specific, yeah, you don't, you're not going to go there. You really are not. Um, but, I mean, that's what they've always been good at, right? And uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. 